you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Welcome back, guys, into more Red Dead Redemption 2. Definitely had a lot of fun with that first part, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Right now, we are just going to continue along the main story. I don't think the uh, the open world has really opened up to us uh, quite yet. So right now, we got to go talk to Bill Williamson, and we got to see what exactly this guy has oh, planned for boys, us. Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What a party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You wanna sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Yo, I still can't get over how good, like, the Tell voice the acting right is, over. you know? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. Are we really about to go rob a train right now? <laughs> Yo, that is insane. So in part one, we kind of figured out that there's like three gangs so far. You got the one that we are in. Then you got the Pinkertons. And then we also have the O'Driscoll. So definitely some rival gangs going on here. What's that? Tracks. Horses. Quite a few of them. Oh, that's not good. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Guess I did. Damn. The bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. He Damn killed right his off. brother? Oh, no wonder there's a rivalry going on here. Cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. 
Yeah, we definitely got smoke from a fire up there. Oh, boy. We're definitely going to be getting in a gunfight here pretty quick. I can feel it, you know? Hold up here. Whoa! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little... See if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. All right, I guess we're rolling with Dutch. <laughs> Yo, I still can't get over just how, like, amazing this game looks, man. Like, it just... I'm not quite sure I've ever played a game that looks this good. And that's kind of crazy considering this came out on the PlayStation 4, you know? There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Now it looks like they're leaving, though. Let's see. Let's get a lay of the land here. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Yeah, he's definitely not happy. Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. <laughs> oh boy. Of course we're going down there, you know? <laughs> Dude, look how deep the snow is. I can't get over it. That rifle from your horse. Weapons not setting your load up before dismounting will remain on your horse, all right? You got it, Dutch. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this rifle. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies. Equipment and a way out of here. Everything else, including Calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Yo, that is gonna be a long walk to get all the way down there. <laughs> I gotta say, you know. God, man, it's just so easy to get lost in these graphics, you know? It is just, it is nice, man. I don't care if the PlayStation 5 only runs at that uh, 30 FPS. It doesn't really seem to um, make that big of a difference, to be completely honest with you. It really doesn't. And I like how, like, Micah's tracks are still here, you know what I mean? <laughs> we can just follow them all the way down. Like, the attention to detail is just out of this world oh they're definitely arguing down there about something Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. We 
Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Oh, yeah, we're about to get into a massive firefight. I can already tell. I kind of thought we were going to be on our way to uh, rob a train, but kind of doesn't feel like that at this point, you know? <laughs> I got a little too excited there. Stay low. Come on. We got to try not to be seen by these guys. Getting cover, Arthur. Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. All right, we're in the lead now, boys. Make the move. We are ready to roll. How soon? Can they give a word? There we go, baby. It's on, baby. <laughs> oh, come on, get out of town. Yo, this is so sick, man. Make sure we're in cover. Oh my goodness, who just took my kill, brother? There we go. Oh, that is so sick. <laughs> oh, how does that miss, bro? There's no chance. Oh, there we go. That was beautiful. You know that was a headshot, boys. You know what time it is. Oh, let's get it, baby. We still got more back there? Oh my goodness. All right, where else are you guys at? Let's do this, baby. I think there's one back here. Yep, there's definitely one back here. Okay, here we go. This is what we need right here, boys. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you know that shit had to hurt, baby. Yo, where else are they? Oh, there's still one in here? There we go. That takes care of that, baby. Oh, I love the slow motion shots. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and loot some dead bodies. Maybe they better have some good stuff. 95 cents <laughs> all he cares about is numbers if you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought you're in think how long some of you have been with me i imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools i guess that is a uh that actually is a good point it kind of seems like we're uh kind of a really small group you know Oh, we got more? Oh, God. Oh, let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Bro, how are you still alive? There is no chance. Okay, we can activate Deadeye when aiming. All right. Make some room, Dutch. Oh, that is sick. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> and then I love how it shows Arthur back there just looking like a complete badass, you know? That is so sick.
Oh man, this uh, this dead eye shot is nice. Oh come on, you gotta give me that. Watch out, boys. We got someone trying to come over here. Oh come on, give me that. There we go, nice. Hold on a minute, where is he at? There we go, baby. All right, you can use a tonic to restore the dead eye. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, nice. So, man, there is just so much going on in this game. You know what I mean? <laughs> everything with, like, the horse and bonding with the horse and everything like that. Like, there is a lot I'm going to have to remember. That is for sure. Go ahead and just steal everything that these guys have. You know, why not? They're already dead, right? They don't need it. <laughs> Might as well take as much as we can get. Sorry, buddy. Nothing personal, you know? You just have some stuff that uh, I might need, to be completely honest with you. It is kind of hard to find these guys in this, uh, this deep-ass snow, though. I gotta be honest. Good work, boys. Now... Let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Oh, man, now we got to search everything. Let's go, baby. Canned vegetables. I guess I'll take that. And I'll take some crackers. Why not? And a cigar? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, they even have chewing tobacco in here. Nothing says the wild, wild west like uh, like the chewing tobacco. Oh my goodness. Look at this, bro. We got dynamite in here. This is what we need right here. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Leviticus right. Cornwall. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Yo, this game is so sick, down. man. Good work, <laughs> fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you can get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> oh, I cannot I wait to rob this that. train. <laughs> oh, indeed we will. You now know, we have all the supplies we need to do it, you know? Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Man, I really want to know what happened back in uh, Blackwater, you know? Right. The game hasn't really explained it, it yet. Let's make some ground. I just know that uh, the gang got a hit back there, but they haven't really uh, went into much detail about it yet. I kind of want to know what uh, what exactly happened, you know? Oh, let's go, baby. Bring him back alive. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what this horse can do, baby. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, we have a little rope. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. Oh, we are going to tie this man up so good. <laughs> we can hog tie him. Oh, that is nice. Ooh, I can loot him too. Let's go ahead and rob him while we're at it. You know why not? It is Red Dead Redemption. Platinum pocket watch. Thank you, sir. Give him a little kick, and then we'll pick him up. Hopefully, this guy's got some uh, some useful information for us. That would really be nice. <laughs> What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Oh my goodness, bro. These guys are ruthless. <laughs> what exactly are we going to do to this guy? Yo, I like how we just have the moon in the background. This man just really say we're hurting him. This We are not even doing anything, brother. You're just riding on a horse. What do you mean we're hurting you? You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Oh, man, this horse stamina is going to be a problem. I definitely don't want to run out of horse stamina. And uh, the more you gallop, it seems to uh, go pretty quickly. I don't know nothing real about them. Honest. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. I love this game already. We're not even two hours in yet, and I can just tell this is going to be a wild ride. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Oh, this ought to go good. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. A few days later. Oh, please tell me we're going to hit this train now. Please tell me we're going to hit this train now. I am so ready. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and... Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus I Cornwall? I him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. 
Parker. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big... Railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Oh, yes. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Dutch seems like he uh, definitely has like a screw loose. <laughs> you know, this man is nuts. I do like so far how this uh, story is like through Arthur's perspective, you know? According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisky, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. <laughs> after Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's run. Doesn't really seem like uh, Arthur and Mike are uh, too fond of each other, to be completely honest. <laughs> Them two are, like, always bickering. But as I was saying, man, I really like how this story is like from Arthur's perspective. And you really hear it by the uh, the journal entries that he narrates. So that's kind of a cool thing in this game that uh, I honestly wasn't expecting. But uh, I do quite enjoy. I also think it's really cool that like when you ride somewhere on the horse on a mission, it like turns to the cinematics just to uh, kind of break it up a little bit, you know?
money safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Easy! Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. All right, so there's the train track. That was weird. That was like a little glitch thing there. <laughs> now we got to go check on Bill. Let's see. How do we get down here? Looks like we can go this way. I think uh, Bill is setting up the explosives, so <laughs> this should be... This should be really fun. This game just really nailed the uh, the Wild West feel, you know what I mean? It definitely feels exactly like the Wild West would feel, you know? Not that I would know, but... Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Connect the wire to the detonator. All right. <laughs> Yo, this is about to go so hard right now. to the others i got it from here say no more bill i got you brother want to be far away from this when it blows <laughs> you know i mean let's just take this in for a second look at that that is insane man absolutely insane even the physics of the characters is out of this world, you know? <laughs> What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Which to the item wheel? Oh, are we about to mask up? Oh, that's sick. We're like real outlaws, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. I cannot wait. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck. Follow you. You all know what to do. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. <laughs> oh, no way we have to uh, jump. Oh, my goodness, bro. How are we going to catch the train on foot? I feel like we should have took the horses. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Lenny. Yeah, we are on a moving train right now. I got him. Who's got a shot on 
Oh, come on. How do I miss that? Come on, buddy. Peep your head out one more time. One more time. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. am I missing? I'm missing even with the strong ass aim assist. That is so bad. There we go. Nice. What do you think you're doing, sir? Go ahead and loot this guy real quick. <laughs> so it might have been Arthur's ball after all, huh? That's classic. And okay, now we can get on there. Oh, what are you doing, brother? That's a bad move. How are you doing there? I'm okay. Oh wait, hold on. I do want to loot this guy real quick. Hold on just a second. Oh my lord, bro, look at that guy's face. That is insane. Is there anybody in here? Oh, fuck. Oh my goodness. No, -uh, it is not going down like that, brother. Not today. <laughs> oh, we about to beat this man's ass. Go ahead and pick up my hat real quick. All right, let's see if we can stop this bad boy. Hit them brakes, Arthur. You know what to do, baby. Oh, of course we have more. There we go. Nice. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> Yo, the dead eye is so sick. Oh, this is so sick, man. Is this guy still behind this rock up here? I don't think he is. I think we're good. Oh, that's an enemy? Bro, I kind of thought that was one of our guys. Still okay? I think so. Good. Yo, where is this last guy at? Who is this guy? Still good, kid. Where the hell are you? I don't know. Oh, you know that hurt. That felt a, uh, a bit excessive, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I know we are. All right, let's take the high ground. I feel like that's the smart play here. Oh, come on. That didn't hit him even with the dead eye? There we go. You know that hit him, baby. <laughs> you know what time it is. Yo, there is a lot of bodies to loot here. Hold on. Hold on, Dutch. We are uh, we are trying to loot some bodies real quick. <laughs> I think I need to eat something real quick, too. I'm kind of getting low on everything. Let's see, do I have anything? Let's go ahead and eat this. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and loot this guy as well. What are you doing? Get over here. Hey buddy, you relax. I just got 34 cents, alright? You, you take it easy. Money? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. 
Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Can we just shoot at the train? Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Oh man, I don't want to be this close to it though. We're going to need to run, baby. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. <laughs> Get on up there. Search that train. We just want to rob your boss. That's it. You know, nothing nothing big. You know, we don't want to kill any of you. Bro, there better be a massive stash in here. Otherwise, this is going to be so disappointing. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Fine brandy. Don't mind if I do, baby. Some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. <laughs> Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Platinum pocket watch. Oh, yeah. That's got to be worth some money, right? We can get this open. Another cigar. Let's go ahead and search this cabinet. Really? There's nothing in there? You gotta be kidding me with that. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. You got a lockbox, so you know there's something good in here, baby. I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Well, we got a letter here. Let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Are Jameson. Hmm. All right. Oh, we better get outside. Dutch is getting impatient. <laughs> what did you find? These... Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Uh, you damn lunatic. I thought we had a deal. Get on the train, brother. <laughs> all right all right your actions in the world impact your honor level and change how people in the world interact with you negative actions oh wow okay so there's like an honor system too oh boy well that can't be good that the fact that i just shot this guy i tried not to though but he wasn't gonna go on the train i mean what was i supposed to do you know 
Might as well just take some time to uh, loot some individuals here. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> Got to make sure we have money, you know. What a crazy time back in the day, you know, where 27 cents was a lot of money to have on you. I wish we could go back to that time. <laughs> you know, that would be absolutely fantastic, to be completely honest. Go ahead and loot this guy as well. Might as well. We're already here, right? I think we already looted that guy, so we're good. All right, we got to get this train moving. Arthur Morgan apparently is also a conductor, as you have it. <laughs> oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> We're just moving our whole camp, <laughs> you know? Oh boy, I hope this song doesn't uh doesn't lead to a copyright. That would be bad. Yo, why is this song kind of a banger, dude? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. So it looks like we kind of, uh, we made it out of the snow now, so... Definitely made our way, uh... Made our way towards where Hosea wanted us to go. We should be close now, now that there's like no snow and everything. Man, it can just be so easy to just get lost in this world, you know? Especially with that like background music playing. <laughs> you know? It was kind of peaceful, honestly. Oh my lord, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's take a look. What kind of faulty right, equipment is this? Everything look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up! <laughs> we just hit it into place. There's like no screws holding this thing together. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, there it is. I was about to say. Bro, there's no way all you do is just bash it in there. It's like, no wonder why it fell apart. What do you think? If they want to 
trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. That was weird. Are they just like stalking us? Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> so, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move... Oh, whoops. Lives, we weren't supposed to turn there. Fled. I don't think this is the quickest way, Arthur. Yeah, I see that now. I kind of was getting lost in the story, all right? Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? It's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. So Zaya's kind of questioning uh, Dutch's uh, decision-making, I guess. Working on there, anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Ginseng and yarrow. Oh, look at that. We got a little deer off to the side there. You acquired some herbs. Oh, I didn't get to read that. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about the properties. Oh, my goodness, bro. 
<laughs> I am, uh... Let's see. Let's hold for details. Hold on. Let's read about this. All right. I'm not even going to try to say that word, but it's an American ginseng. American ginseng shrubs can be identified by their large palmate leaves, the smooth stems, and small cluster of red berries. The cluster of berries are smaller than the clusters found on Alaskan ginseng. These plants are native to forests in most areas, in moist areas, from West Elizabeth to the edges of New Hanover. This medicinal plant can be grafted into medicine or consumed to replenish your health. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of sensing some, uh, some untrustworthiness for their leader, Dutch, to be honest. Even Arthur kind of going back to, the, like, the train mission and all that was kind of arguing with them as well, which is kind of interesting. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Oh, my goodness. Looks like we made it. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on, buddy. Hop on here. Okay, let's go. Yo, this place looked so nice, honestly. Well, one could only hope. But my guess is it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna work for very long. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something's gonna go bad at some point. Dude, this is a sick camp, though. I mean, look at this. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, 
I've seen shit with more common sense than you. So we can sleep, problem. shave, change clothes, or store weapons here in our little tent. <laughs> this guy would light up a cigarette at a time like this. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. So chapter 1 was kind of a, uh, kind of a quick one, man. A couple of weeks later. Alright, let's see how life is going here in this new camp. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have a camera now, which is uh, which is kind of nice. But this does feel like the uh, the perfect ending point for part two of this game. Oh, Arthur, my boy, my dear boy, what's going on? Nothing, nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. All right, guys. As I was saying, this feels like the perfect stopping point for uh, part two of this series. I'm really enjoying this game, man. It's throwing a lot at me. It's definitely something I'm going to have to like go back as I edit these videos and try to remember pretty much everything that uh, this game is trying to tell me so far. <laughs> Because it is a lot, it is a little overwhelming, but I am definitely having a fantastic time with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the playthrough so far. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there.